Hey everyone, Will here. Had a pretty good sale and I uh, thought I'd do a little video on it. Uh, had these sitting around a long time. Uh, this is a good example of a long tail item. Um, they are a set of 1912 um, Buick uh, tire rims. And I uh, picked these up at a yard sale. Uh, I was looking at them and a guy told me, he's like, if you like those things, go ahead and take them. You can have them for free. He said, I'm just going to end up taking them to the scrapyard tomorrow if you don't take them. So I took them. Listed them on eBay. And this was back uh, August of 2014. Uh, they sat there for uh, over two years and uh, finally got an offer uh, 220 and I took it uh, the guy's gonna be coming out to uh, pick them up shipping them would have been uh, extremely high considering their size and uh, they weigh almost uh, uh, 40 pounds a piece uh, so like I said, a good example of a long tail item. Uh, what I mean by long tail is that uh, there we got got it right here. What I mean by long tail is that uh, it's an item that probably only a handful of people um, on eBay uh, would even consider buying. Um, and uh, so that means it's going to take a long time to find somebody. But when you do, it makes it worthwhile. And that's a long tail item. It's another good example of uh, list it and forget it. I really had forgotten that I had these things at all. Um, had to uh, dig them out of the shed. So uh, when you find a long tail item, something that uh, there's not too many of or maybe not any at all on eBay, uh, don't be afraid to put a good price on it and uh, just stick it away somewhere and forget about it. Uh, don't forget where you put it, of course, but uh, um, sooner or later it'll sell.